hello coders welcome back to the tutorial and and welcome back to this series of awesome react packages so guys in this series i'm back again with another awesome react package or component that is react infinite scroll component so guys this component is very helpful if you want to render a list of images and you want to implement infinite scroll feature inside that so guys you can see here i have already implemented in one of my projects you can see a list of images here and whenever i scroll down it is going to fetch more images and it is going to get more images and more images until the list of images is finished and guys i am fetching these images from an api that is lorem pixum that is, you can come to this website called pixum.photos and you can see here you can get a list of images from this website i am getting the 10 images at first and by seeing the scroll bar here you can see the list of images are very small now 10 images right now and whenever i scroll down you can see here this is going to shrink an image is going to be loaded more and more and you can also implement this feature with the help of this component that is called react infinite scroll component so guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can quickly get started with this component and implement this inside your own application and for that i'm going to create a new react project in the code sandbox And guys, now I'm going to install this component inside my application. So guys, you can install this application with the help of this command npm i react infinite scroll component. Or if you are using yarn, then you can run this command. For now, I'm going to copy the name of this package and just add to the dependencies. And it is going to be installed in our application. Now we also have to import this. So we are going to import a scroll react infinite scroll component. So guys now we can use this component inside our application but for that we have to have a list of items that we are going to render inside this component. So for that I am going to create a state here that is going to be this state is going to be images and with the set images and guys this state is going to hold the array of items or list of items which we are going to render in the infinite scroll. For the initial value I am going to fetch some images from this API which I showed you from the pixum.photos and guys from this api you can fetch the number of images by setting the limit here and you can pass the page number here and you can change this page number to get different images every time you want to get the different images for now let's copy this data from here which is the data for the 10 images from the pixum photos and i'm going to store this data in the state we just created and guys you also have to import this use state from the react so let's import and now guys we have to also create another state that is going to be page number or page with the set page by default is going to be 2 because we are already fetching the image from the page number 1 and after that whenever we want to fetch more images we are going to pass here another value like 2 and after that we are going to increment that so guys now we are set up with the initial data and now we can render this data inside our application and now we can use this infinite scroll component so let's use this so as you can see here in the documentation you can pass some props here so let's try to use this so as we can now use this component and in this component we have to pass some props that is going to be data length and this is going to be the length of images and after that you can pass here next that is going to be a function whenever we scroll down it is going to run this function to load more data and guys you can set this has more to true and we can toggle this to false whenever the data ends and you don't have more data to render after that you can write this loader and this is going to show whenever the data is loading and and guys this is going to be the end message that is going to show whenever the data is finished and you don't need to scroll more after that i'm going to set this class name to style it in the future after that you can pass the list of images or list of items inside this component as the children so let's map onto this images list and render an image tag to show images so let's map these images and after that we are going to show an image tag here with the key value of image.id because in the data you can see here we are getting the data with the id author name width and height url and download url so guys this download url is going to be the source from where the image is going to be shown after that you can pass the alt here that is going to be the author name after that you can see here the source is going to be the download url after that you can also set a class name here to style it 
so after that you can see here this is the function i wrote here and i'm going to create this function to fetch more images whenever the image is going to be finished so guys this is the function i wrote here and inside this function you can see here i'm fetching the list of images from here and i'm passing the page number here and incrementing the page number every time here because we want to fetch different images from images we already have inside this list after that you can see here i'm setting this list with the new data along with the previous data with the help of this callback function so guys, whenever i save this file you can see here list of images is going to be shown inside this window and if i'm going to increase the window size here you can see images are loading but it is not very good styled so we have to style it little bit so let's go to the style.css and remove the default style here and guys this is the style of this page in which i'm setting the background of this body to black and text to white and every item is going to be aligned center after that you can see here the image grid which we just created here with the help of this infinite scroll component i have passed this class here and this class is going to be styled as this and this is going to show the images in the grid with the help of this repeat method i am going to render every images in the grid and i don't have to create a separate map for this grid so you can see after that we have to style these images because these images have no height and width set so it is going to show its default height and width so let's try to set the height and width you can see here i have set the height to 200 pixel and width to 300 pixel and after that margin of 12 pixel and now you can see here these are the images we just loaded and it has the width and height set after that i'm going to write an h1 tag here to show a heading here so you can see this is the heading now so guys you can see your list of images rendered here and whenever i scroll down it is going to load more images and it is going to load more and more until the images are finished from the api so guys that's how you can implement the infinite scroll feature inside your application with this component and guys if you scroll down you can see there are many props you can pass and set to customize its styling after that you can set the size of this window because currently it is loading the whole window and whenever you scroll it is going to scroll the whole window by passing height attribute inside this infinite scroll component so let's set height to 400 pixel then now you can see the area is constrained inside this 400 pixel height and you can now scroll these images inside that area only and it does not affect the whole window and let's recap whatever i did inside this project so guys in the app component we created two states that is images state and page state images are for the list of images and it is going to be updated whenever the image finished and it is going to be updated with the help of this function fetch data it is going to fetch more data and it is going to concatenate inside this list of images with the new data after that you can see your page number or page which is being passed inside this api to fetch random images different images every time we scroll down and we are incrementing this page number inside this function after that you can see here i have used this component to implement infinite scroll and inside this infinite scroll component i have used a map function to render a list of images from the images state so guys that's it for this project i hope you understood this well i'm going to leave this code inside the description i hope you like this video if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe this channel and stay healthy, keep coding and keep watching tutorial.